to be jerks. Don't know why. I hate character density pot. <laughs> yeah. Much better. Yeah, look at him though. Spin him around. He looks badass. Did you transmogrify him? I got a couple things, yeah. Not a lot. <clears throat> okay, so this is Bad Manor. This is not Bad Manor Monday. Damn. This is Diablo 3 from a casual point of view. Uh, I'm trying to think what episode we're on. Six. Six. Yeah, okay. Six. All right. So last week you went out. We, you got the star on bracer. I noticed you got one extra piece of legendary. Did you get that from Keldala, or what happened, or did were you just, gambling for her? So just, strength armor, and that's one. Have you? Do you like those pants? Have you been using it, or uh, what's? No, I have to get one more gem in it. And oh, okay. I'm just waiting for money so I can get a better gem. Three or more enemies within twelve yards. You release a vile stance that deals the yeah, pox folds. They're actually the pox fold damage is a legit. It's it's some, it does I'm, good damage. I'm gone again. <laughs> so basically, when you're running around, enemies get close, you boom, it blows up, everything dies. Yeah. And they're so good, they actually have to put it on the cooldown and shit like that. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, so have you been getting a lot better gear, like yellows and stuff? Did you notice your guy's killing faster? You're at 429k DPS, so your DPS went up. Yeah. Uh, I got a new weapon two or three times uh, more. Okay. So. You know you get more DPS if you put a critical gem in there, right? Uh, yeah, but... Well, I, I guess it doesn't matter one. yet. I didn't have a critical gem at that You're level, right. so I just right. figured what else. So you still got the strong arm braces, and you lie. I bet you, did you see a big difference when you start using these and stuff? Like, at least in terms of your survivability or oh, that. Because yeah. you got a lot of life on hit here. And then also, your angel hair braid. That's nice, man. Arse, you got your strength. You don't got vitality on it, but... Yeah, you but don't I can re-roll fucking re resist all elements or something. Yeah, that's a really good belt. So you got a new belt. So I bet you're pretty happy with that. Mm -hmm. And that's actually a real deep. That's a decent belt for a newcomer because I mean it gives you everything. It rolled the good strength. Uh, only rolled 17 off of having the max strength. And if you're wondering how to do it, you just hold down control. Yeah. You rolled max life percent, high armor, all resistance, night off, running, pro running, rolling perfect. But it rolls between 91 and 100, so that's not bad. I mean, shit. Okay, so it looks like your your uh your character's coming along pretty nicely, man. Okay, good damage. What's your critical critical chance is 40? Critical damage is 249. Oh my goodness, Nate Dog's actually making a good crusader. Strength, a little bit of movement speed. Okay, actually, no, everything in the strength. No, everything in strength. Everything in the critical chance. Okay, everything into resist all. Yeah, and then life on hit. Yeah, that's kind of important. Yeah. Okay. Well, he doesn't really run out of resource regeneration too much, so... Did you change up any of your skills or anything like that, or did you kind of keep it all the same? Uh, I changed my hammer. Um, I used to use the one... I went back to the crack hammer. I used to use the one where it would heal when you would hit him. Okay, what does the crack hammer do? It splits into it, so it hits more targets. Now, then you also... That's holy, so that's also on your necklace. You have holy damage there. Increase hold your holy percent element. So, do you still use the same shield, but with holy, right? Uh, I haven't changed the shield. Um, I just... I haven't changed the shield. Okay, so, shield. so what have you? What has been different for you since last week? What are things have you noticed in the game, and what things have you been uh, uh, noticing? I noticed you're even on master, so you're on one level before. So, you yeah, yeah. I, tell I, me what's I going on with your. Well, okay. After I got a couple, I got the new weapon, I got the new uh, belt, and the uh, bracer. I moved up a difficulty because I could. Right. Um, I tried doing the rifts, and I didn't. I didn't get any drops. And well, like three times, and if for a uh, hundred twenty-five percent more, I was kind of disappointed. Well, yeah, I guess it's hit or miss. But the one thing you do have to remember is that you are still at least getting the blood shards, which lets you go to Caldala, and then you could buy a bunch of the little items, and hopefully you get yeah. a nice legendary or something along those lines. Okay, did you play any time in your wizard? You've been mostly focusing on your uh, crusader a lot. Just crusader. And then how many hours do you think you played last week? Um, I had a lot of shit. It was a uh, Passover. It was last Monday, so I didn't play Monday. Tuesday, I had a lot of work to do. I didn't play that much. Maybe three out, three four hours. Since last week? Yeah. That's not a lot. That's, that's crazy. So in a couple, like, three to four hours gameplay time, you actually ended up getting, like, a lot of, uh, getting good upgrades on a lot of your items, and you actually almost pushed yourself up to the point where you're almost at Torment Level 1 now. Yeah. Okay. And now, are the monsters dying fairly quickly on Master? It's not, like, slow, or how's it going for uh, you so it's far? It's not slow. It's, it's fairly good, you know, 
kind of like back in the day where you would it take a minute to kill some things, but you weren't like you know you weren't sitting just, there for a while. Yeah, so. sitting there for a while, and they're not hurting you, but you're not killing them. I did switch back to um, Laws of Valor from whatever the healing one was because right. I don't need to heal as much now, um, which basically gives you attack speed. Okay. Yeah, I like that one actually when I'm party with the Crusader because it makes me feel OP, especially in the Witch Doctor because I cast a lot faster and shit like that. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so you only played maybe for about four hours since last week. You've gotten a lot of, you got some nice upgrades that's put you up to master's level. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think you're looking forward to next or what is your goal right now? Is it just getting into the high level tournament or are you just trying to get a legendary it's on every single slot? Maybe you're trying to do more into your gym crafting or maybe looking to regular crafting. What is piquing your interest right now in the game? Um, I want to get some better items because I still am not at Torment 1. Right. So you really can't... Torment 1 is like Inferno, right? Yeah, basically... Tor Torment 1 is the And at Torment 1, Inferno, it unlocks Inferno. all the set legendaries at all Pacific classes you can get. Right, so I'm looking to get to Torment. That's what I've really been pre uh, you know, focusing on. Okay. Okay, well, good stuff, man. And are you planning on going back to the wizard or maybe placating with that a little bit? Now, is your wizard on torment level one or is that still masters two? Um, I think he's still on masters technically through um, act six. Okay. It's act five. Act five, yep. Yeah. Act five, he's on ma on masters. But if I go on act one, I can do torment level two without a problem. It's really? That last act that yeah, just, you know what? A lot got such a bump. Like the thing I always tell people is you got to keep in mind is why the act four and act five is not too popular because the AI of the monsters is really smart and they have more sophisticated spells. Right. right. Whereas to act one, the monsters are just like generic skeleton guy holding a club. Yeah, <laughs> you right, know? right, right. So if you go to Act 5 sometimes and you wonder why you get smashed on the Torment level and you go to Act 1 or 2 and it's not that bad, that's the reason why, because certain monsters do things pretty crazy. Right. Like I know in Act 3 and Act 4, especially Act 4, you have those big four-handed walking guys and they double fist you and like it like hits really oh, hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the those guys, yeah, hard. those guys are pretty ridiculous. But like I said, you don't normally see them. The only time you see them is either in Act 4 or in Riffs. Now, depending on what kind of Riff you can, you can have a great day. <laughs> you could have a bad day. Because I had a riff last week where I had nothing but worms. Like, I had nine elite worms. And the thing worms. about elite worms, worms, until you walk up to the where they're at, then they pop up oh, and they yeah, 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 hit yeah. you and you're dead. Because I'm playing at a high torment level, like torment level five, right? Right. And I'm and walking squishy, around. So. And then all of a sudden, worms come out of nowhere. Hey, what's up? Boom, you're dead. So that's a little aggravating in that sense in some of the monsters from Act 5 and Act 6. But for the most... I'm sorry, Act 5 and Act 4. But for the most part, I prefer Act 1 mobs. I find that it drives me less insane and drives me less crazy along that lines. Okay. Do you find yourself doing more bounties or more rifts? Um, just bounties. Because right. I want to get the blood shards. Um, nice. Rifts, like I said, I wanted to rifts try just and really to get higher level. Right. I did do a couple... Um, I, like I said, I didn't get any drops in the rifts, so I was kind of like... That's weird. I thought we, they had an upgraded. Mm, there might be something tied into Torment 1, but I could be wrong, but I will look into that. Okay. Yeah. But so, uh, the rifts are fun. I like it. I wish it didn't end. Oh, like never ending? Yeah, I would love a never ending. Well, done they're anything. actually doing something called like uh, multi tiered rifts where you move up through the rifts. And basically, what happens is once you get past a certain level, it becomes very hard, like yeah. very, very, very hard. And at a certain point, I think if you die or you just can't kill any monsters because it's too hard, then you leave the rift and you collect all your items. Yeah. So they're actually like put that. into the game. Yeah. yeah, like an endless. So yeah, it's coming. Uh, but instead of like being like an endless dungeon, like into the descent, it's gonna be like a climbing ladder to the sky where you just keep climbing until that. And then they also said they have the ladder coming. Now, okay, when ladders come out, do you think that would interest you or no? Um, you know, to be honest, I never understood ladder in a sense of what a ladder is, so I don't really know what a ladder is. Ladder in a sense is basically the ladder's broken up into two, probably either three or four seasons. Okay. Three seasons is four months, four seasons is three months, where basically everybody starts off new with nothing, and whoever can level up, you rank amongst your peers and stuff like that. And the one thing they do have it so is what they're going to do is they might they'll probably have ladder Pacific legendary it's like only legendaries you can get on the ladder mm -hmm. and then at the end of the ladder you could transfer off all your gear you got to keep that character in the gear but if you have like a bunch of filled slots you can actually just transfer all that gear into another account into one of your characters and stuff like that okay. so you have your main account barbarian ladder starts you make a new barbarian at level one you power up to level 70 you're having a good time ladder season ends 
all that experience you gained in Paragon, all that extra stuff, and the items that you might have found that is exclusive for ladders, transfers over to your main character. So, is that something that might interest you, or do you not really worry about the, the, the uh, competition too much, or do you think you'll be focusing more just on just having, playing your non-ladder account characters? Um, I think I would not play ladder so much, because you're under a timetable. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like a year, right? it won't help me, because I don't have the time to get a character to level 70, and then mm -hmm. go, and go, and go, when I have already have a character, so... I mean, the intrigue of having ladder-only specific items, mm -hmm. that, that's kind of cool, yeah. Now, but I don't think I could uh, invest in a character to just have him go away. Now, the cool thing is, in other games like uh, Path of Exile, which is another a action RPG like Diablo, basically Diablo clone, they have multiple ladders. They have, like, a season for hardcore ladders, where if you die, your character goes to softcore. You just is not on the hardcore ladder anymore. And I thought that was a pretty neat idea. That's so good, if yeah. your character dies, at least you can still play it in softcore. Also, what they do is they have, like, little ladders. Like, for instance, you're going to start off at the level one character. For the next four hours, whoever gets the, the, the highest level and shit like that ranks. They do stuff like that on a regular basis. Do you think that's pretty cool, having, like, short-term ladders where a player can log on during the day? Maybe the ladder starts everybody off at level 20, and then you go off from there. Or maybe a ladder that's only lasting a week, and then they give you rewards and stuff. Do you think that would be pretty cool or be helpful, or it kind of puts you in the same stipulation? Um, I think that would be fun for people that aren't so homebound. Mm -hmm. You know, like, people like me, they would like that. I think that would work most for people who stream. That's something that you can competition. Work off of. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if they had, it'd be fun. I don't know if I would say in it long because it'd be frustrating. Just so if they had said some day, let's say the wife's at work, you have time yourself. Said okay, starting at four o'clock, they're gonna do a level one ladder for four hours. Whoever can get the most of my levels. And people who rank up uh, get like special shit they could use for a main account. Would, could you see yourself playing for four hours and just leveling up, maybe to get rewards or something like that, or just be a part of like the little mini competition? Yeah, okay. I mean, if it was short and to the point, I would hate to start at level one if, like you said, if they started you at level fifty. Mm -hmm. So you would at least have all of the skills except for the level seventy skill because that doesn't start till like level sixty one is when you first get it. But either way, then you're removing the OP skills because you, uh, like you said, you wanted something like along the lines of having a quest system and rewards and making certain bosses that you kill and you get certain rewards for. So you want more stuff in the game. So when you come in, you can kind of mm -hmm. take your same character. But do multiple things. Right, right. And yeah. do you think that would inspire you to play more, or that would just basically make it so that when you do play Diablo, you have more options? What do you think? Do you think that would inspire you to play more, or you just you would treat it as, oh, I have more options? Uh, probably more that I have options because I don't think I could play more mm -hmm. even if there was more I could do because it would probably just extend how long I would be playing the game. Right. Because uh, I can't play anymore. There, it's not like something else is dragging away my attention. It's not another video game or a book. Right. If I'm not playing, it's because I, the wife is home and I want to spend right. time with her. I hear you. I'm walking the dog. So it won't make me play more because nothing is pulling my attention from Diablo yet. Okay. So I'm more or less playing as much as I can. When you can, when I considering. Can. So if they did do that, it would just add to the enjoyment and how long you're going to play. Because I don't think uh, the Rifts is going to keep everybody's attention forever. They're going to need to do something else eventually. People so you agree run. that people are going to burn out fairly. Now it's almost approaching the one month mark for ROS. Are you still feeling like pumped up to play the game and are you enjoying your play sessions? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm not so much enjoying the um, difficulty of... Act 5? Yeah. If I was stronger, I probably would have a different opinion, but I'm not, so I don't. But, uh, like I said, I like the hub, the hub world. I like the town aspect of it, but, like, when you're doing the uh, bounties and you have to kill Mathile, it's like, really? I gotta sit there and wait 20 minutes to kill this fucking guy to get one bounty? Like, I don't even do Act 5 anymore, honestly. Yeah. I just do 1 through 4, because Act 5 is infuriating. So maybe that's yeah. something Blizzard can fix and change. Now, you know with the changes, you know, they nerfed the chest farming and stuff like that. I learned that they nerfed, they didn't nerf the chances to get a legendary out of the chest. They just made less chests, if that makes sense. So when you open up yeah. a chest, you still have the same chance as you did before. A really good chance. 
but there's less, there's less chest so people just can't find an area and farm it. Do you think that's okay? Because I found the correct information about that. Do you agree with that or do you understand why? Yeah, no, I think that sounds great. I don't know how true that is because I always find chests in certain areas. Right. Okay. I mean, there. what is it on the way to uh, Asmodan? Oh, yeah. There's always that one in the corner before you turn and go down to his chamber. There's always one right I there. I think before there used to be like six or seven or eight or a ridiculous oh, well, amount. well, there is that one, and it's always kill this elite mob before mm -hmm. time runs out. So they do have some set. It's not completely random, which I kind of hope it was. Okay. I kind of wish it was. If it was completely random, you wouldn't have this problem at all. Okay. You would just go and act one. There are five random chests, one for each click. Done. Okay. Do you like the fact that Blizzard lived within the first couple weeks? From your point of view, how does it? How do you feel about when you see like updates, like they had to change this item or they're fixing stuff? Does that make you feel better about the game? Do you not even care about it when you just log on and play anyway because it doesn't affect you? How does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel like they're doing their job. Right. Like they're actually doing something, and that's the problem I always had with MMOs. Is I'm not paying for this. I already bought it. Right. Well. I bought this once, and I see all the time, oh, look, they updated this. They're doing their job. They're keeping the game. So a lot of people could complain, well, it shouldn't have been that unbalanced in the first place. Just be happy they're balancing it. How many times have we raged out of Marvel's Capcom 3 because of this bullshit? Yeah, fucking Cable with five Viper beams. That nigga in the guard break and then the infinite beaming was... I, I used to sit there and think, like, how, Capcom, are you okay with this? But nowadays, even now with their new Street Fighter 4 game, they do patch stuff, which is good. Yeah, but but you're well, happy because you see that it, you, you know. see them that they're they're patching this shit. So yeah, you're like, okay, good doing job. Something. So I don't really care that it was unbalanced at one point. Now I'm gonna run you by some uh, different exploits they've been actually been changing out, and you tell me yes or no if uh, you heard of the exploit, the Unity glitch exploit. Mm -mm. Okay. There's a ring that makes it so that if you wear this ring Unity, everybody else who's wearing a Unity ring, the damage is split equally among, among everybody, right? Okay. So what people were doing is they were going into single player, right? Now, did you know that your, uh, your followers have their own legendary items that they can get? Like, you could put this legendary item on yeah. the... And it's like your follower never dies or it unlocks all their skills so they can use all their skills now? No, no, I didn't know that. Well, they have two different relics like that. They have legendary relics that you can put for your uh, followers. So if you get the relic for their follower and then you put it, uh, you put the, it never dies. And then you equip a unity ring on your follower and you equip a unity ring on yourself. Since your follower never dies and he has a unity ring too, you get a permanent 50% damage reduction all the time. So people were going to torment level six. Mm -hmm. and mitigating damage they should never be able to. So you haven't heard of that one, but... No, that's pretty do you, good, though. Do you think that was uh, necessary to nerf that? Um, yeah. Right. I think that is outside the realm of the game's thought. That was okay. never something that they thought to be exploited. Right. It's not like um, they, they intended for it. You know, some things they'll go, okay... We'll let this slide, see how many people notice it, track it. I don't, I don't think they intended for that to pop out. Okay. Another, ex uh, another. we won't call it an exploit, but a weapon was overperforming. They have this weapon called the Shard of Hate. Every time you auto-attack, whatever elemental property you're using along as this poison, ice, or lightning, mm -hmm. it, cha it triggers a certain effect of that. Poison, it shoots out a poison over frost, I forget, and lightning, it just shoots out a chain lightning or something like that. It was over -proccing. And basically, people were getting ridiculous. Like, for instance, like, you would do a whirlwind mm -hmm. with the barbarian. It'd be like, proc, 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 proc. Now, Blizzard mm -hmm. re reduced that by a, su a good substantial amount. Could you understand the reasoning behind that? Or do you think maybe it would have been more interesting just to let, like, you know, to have proc effects on the melee, uh, on melee type characters or characters who are proccing a lot? Do you, can you see the problem if they are letting it proc? How do you feel about weapons that have on proc effects and how do you think you should over proc and have it be weak or under proc and have it be strong? What is your opinion on it? Um, I think it depends on what the people are using it for. If most people are, like you said, with Whirlwind, if it's proccing every three seconds because that's what he's doing. He's literally spinning in a circle, attacking repeatedly. That makes sense that it would proc that often. But if you're, like, the wizard using the generation ray, that's what. It just procs boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom. I, I think that really depends on the character and how you're using it. 
Yeah, because they had some barbarians who had the uh, Thunder Fury, which is a weapon that shoots out lightning, mm -hmm. and the other weapon that had the Shard of Hate, and they would stack lightning damage, so basically they had two weapons double proccing, just doing Torment level 6. I think that if you can find a two-item solution for Torment level 6, you're... it's wrong. Right. Torment level 6 is meant to be... You have all your items in alignment, everything's on point. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I don't think... If you can run Torment level 6 with two items, only two items needed, then it's too much. Well, I heard a lot of people were doing that and running it with the Rings of Unity, so they were actually able to take 50% less damage than they had the overprocking of the Shard of Hate. Now, one more thing that I don't know if you did, they actually have these gloves in Act 2. And I don't know if you know this. They have these things called uh, Gloves of Worship. And you know, when you do these... Uh, when you farm for Act 1 or Act 2 or Act 3, the mm -hmm. caches have legendary Pacific caches for that act. Yeah, you mentioned that before. Right. So in Act 2, they have these things called Gloves of Worship. Uh, how do you feel about this? Shrine effects last for 10 minutes. Oh. But they were glitching and lasting for an hour. Even 10 minutes? Shit. So can you imagine... So you understand why Blizzard had to reduce that from one hour. I do believe it was a frenzy one that increases your attack speed and DPS, and they had another one that's like for resource cost, where you, you don't ever run out of resources and stuff like that. Depending on the character, that would be terrible. Yeah. So those are in the game if you ever get, a, if you ever get them. They're, they drop from Act 2s, and they're called the Gloves of Worship. So what people would do is they would go around each area, waypoints, looking for shrines, buff up all the shrines, and then they would go ahead and start leveling and killing shit, and they would do Acts 1 through 5. How do you feel about those type of gloves? I, I don't like those gloves. I think they're a little too strong. Um, it depends on what else they have. If that's all they are... It's never for the pylons. The big ones that give you like the cool dramatic effects, like the super movement speed or yeah. the conduit with like the little muscle thing and you shoot out lightning and it, it auto-kills everything. Yeah. It's not for those. It's just for like the regular shrines. I don't think it's too bad. I think that's kind of awesome. I mean, not an hour. Ten and minutes. I go, yeah, yeah, see yeah. me, I think they should get rid of it, but then again, I can understand how that's the whole point of the getting the damn gloves, and it makes it awesome where it lasts for yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, it makes it fun. An hour? No. Ten, I would have said for five minutes that'd be great, but... Hey, ten minutes. Ten minutes, that's pretty good. I, I like it. <laughs> I think that'd be great. So if you ever go to Act 2 and you get those gloves, you know not to destroy them. <laughs> Okay, run right, right on then. So your your uh, Crusaders moving up the ranks. You're doing a real good job gearing them. Uh, you're getting a lot of different things of that nature. Um, your DPS went up to master. You're doing pretty okay. Um, it looks pretty cool. Did you do any transmogrification? Uh, no, not the, on the way he looks. Uh, that was all pretty much random. Yeah, I have to say he looks uh, pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and take a look at your gold. Your gold is pitiful. Dude, finding gems, man. You are about your gems. I, you know, I'll give you that. You are definitely getting your gems up. But you know what? Gems are DPS and yeah. stuff like that. And I noticed that you actually have 109 blood shards. So I'm going to come over here to call Dawa because I'm lucky. Yeah, come on. I tried it a couple times. Ah, uh, let me see. Boots, yeah. boots? We can go for boots. I don't know if you'll get anything. Not your bust. Ah, oh, you fucking whore. Well, you never know. That one of these might be an upgrade. Let's take a look here. Uh, nope. No. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. No. It's red. Armor, vitality, increase. Uh, it's red, dude. It's not better. Well, you can also re roll, but it has to have the whole package. No. 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 Mm, point three less damage. You got the movement speed. You could reroll the strength for four fifteen, but yours rolled max strength. How the fuck do your boots roll max strength? I'm just that good. No, the game likes you. It's called RNG Jesus. Uh, I really shouldn't say that, but that's what people call it. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, she fucked you. Sorry. Goddamn fucking horse. Well, well, I mean, eventually you'll find some nice shoes and stuff like that. If not between that and the caches, and at least you can come over. And then, you know, you can break down the mats. But for you, you probably need the gold, I would think. But eh, it could be a lot worse. At least you got the nice pox fold, so you got a nice pair of legendary pants. You just have to wait till you get another gem. And then, like I said, it seems like you're slowly getting yourself out of uh, up to torment level one. So you're not feeling frustrated at all. Like, you know you're going to get there eventually, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, it's coming along good. I kind of wish it was going a little faster. I feel like whenever I find something decent, it's just a baby step. Ah, uh, okay. 
1.2. I never find something that's like 6.8 in this and 7.4 in this. Okay. It's always like baby steps, but I guess that's kind of how it always is. Okay. Don't you think? All right, well, I'll tell you what. This is your week's homework. We're going to go ahead and take a look at how many shards you got here. Or how many elk. Oh, what the fuck? You have... This is your homework, motherfucker. Riffs. Riffs. I, I was waiting. Riffs, nigga. Riffs. Just run riffs. Fuck it. Just Because you can always get more. Run some riffs. 195? That is disgusting. You know what I mean? I have? I have none because I always use riffs. You fucking... You riffed it up. Dude, what? that is ridiculous. You have 200 of them. That's like... You know how many riff runs it is? You run... You listen to me. Whenever you play, you run riffs. That's like 20 riffs runs. Yeah, run the riffs, nigga. I don't do math. I just look Isn't at the number. 10 per? Okay, you know, it's 5 per. Okay, that'd be 40. Yeah, do riff runs. You, you know what if you want? You don't even need to full clear out the whole shit. Go in there, kill the boss, take the blood shards, leave. Because if you have 40 runs at 50 blood shards each, that's a lot of blood. Nigga, I'm breaking out the calculator, man. Fuck this. What? what? <laughs> Okay, 40 riff runs times about 50 blood shards. That's 2,000 blood shards, nigga. You know what you can do with 2,000 blood shards? Divide that by five per item. That means that's 400, 400 pieces of gear you can buy. And she won't even fucking get me anything. But, she, but even if she gave you, like, one out of every 100, that's four new legendaries. You run riffs. That's your homework. Riffs. Right. Don't do nothing else. Riffs. And then we'll see what happens next week. I like me. Anyways, on that, um, good job moving up to Masters. Yay. Another legendary for the Pox Folds. Um, it's nice seeing you move up through the ranks. <laughs> and uh, your toughness is not an issue, right? No, you got good HP. You're on no, point. No, 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 my toughness. Is cool. So, as always, we appreciate you guys for watching the stream. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have Nate Dog. Any, any things you last words you'd like to say to the viewers or anything like that this week? Until next week? Look up Baby Metal on YouTube. Baby Metal. And actually, I looked it up. It's actually pretty cool. Baby Metal. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Just look up Baby Metal. Baby Metal on YouTube. And uh, I have to say it was interesting, and I, and I did enjoy it. Look up Baby Metal. Yeah. Uh, sorry, me and Nate Dog are so late today. Hand me that right there. Uh, had to get a new graphics card. Nothing too fancy. Just a GeForce GTX 650. Uh, the funny thing is, uh, it wasn't working for a while, but Nathan was like, dude, you actually have to screw it in and make sure it sits in. And then I actually pushed it in all the way or made sure it was aligned and it was working out okay. And I also got 16 gigabytes of RAM. So big shout out to the guys who've been getting carry runs and who've been donating. So, uh, the stream quality will be a lot better when we have four people on the screen. And then when I'm playing by myself, it'll be in high de high quality, high oh. def everything. So, and plus with the more RAM, it makes streaming a lot easier. So hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy the better quality and stuff. Um, it was on sale. It was cheap. Yeah, some people wanted me to go out and buy like a four hundred dollars graphics card, but I was like three hundred. I was like ah, because for me, one person said it the best. Diablo is a, a GPU heavy game in terms of your processor and stuff, mm -hmm. or something like that along those lines. Well, if uh, he can make the money, he'd spend it. I yeah, somebody donates it to me, I'll buy it. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll go right down the fucking street and buy that shit and install it. <laughs> You'll start streaming from your phone. Yeah. This is me going in, I'm buying it. You know what, I really, I really don't, I don't want to say I don't like the people at Fry's, but they just don't seem like they, they like their jobs. Mm -hmm. She was hot, though. She, yeah, she was all right. Yeah, she's kind of hot. But, like, for me, it's like they just don't seem like they're happy. I mean, if I was working at a computer store, it's better than working at a fast food store. True. Because at least at a computer place, you can dress up nice. I would dress up real nice. Like, I have, like, a vet. I would go out of my way to dress really nice every day. Everything. Because people like that kind of shit. I don't know. I don't know why they seem so unhappy. I don't even know. I don't even know. They just never seem happy. I was happy black man in my fast food job, so I don't understand why them niggas is not happy. You know? Well, yeah, pretty much Apex. Big shout out to him. That guy, you pretty much got me the 16 gigabytes of RAM and the new video card. That dude alone. Uh, everything came out to three something, so I was pretty happy about that. And I also got some different monitor converters from VGA outputs because the next thing I might need to do is monitors. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to upgrade my monitors anytime soon because that's just a visual upgrade. But we got the HD camera. I got a nice keyboard and a nice mouse so I can play for long amounts of hours. Uh, I'm going to get some cushions for my chair. Those would be like five bucks each. So I can... Just some cushions? Because it, it hurts because I wore it down because my hands are so yeah. long here. 
So, you know, something along those lines won't have you not. And uh, I don't know what you're going to reroll because you ain't got no fucking gold to reroll, nigga. You ain't got shit. Look at that. I could reroll a bunch of them. No, don't ever. No, no, no. Okay, in this situation, you would reroll. Oh, lightning. Actually, you got everything you would want yeah, on that. But, I mean, if I could. But I would. I would. I would. Re monster kill hold on. Experience. Hold on. I'm trying to see here. Don't reroll nothing, motherfucker. Yes, yeah, if I could get monster kills, grant experience, I'd take that. No, okay, this is what you want. You no. want you want strength, you want crit, you don't need vitality because you're already so tough. What you want is like, it's hard to get one of these, but you want something for like bless shield, increase bless shield damage. That's what you want to get. Yeah, but if you but at your, your level... Strat, but if you change your strat, you're fucked. Like, oh, I don't... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. At your level, don't worry about it. But at my level, like, all my gear has that little shit on there because once yeah. you get big numbers, it makes a difference. Anyways... So Anyways, are, are, are any of these anything special? Like, yeah, you're gonna use those for crafting, but I wouldn't all keep of them all of them. Like, I, I would not keep the one-handed ones. I wouldn't keep the pants. Uh, ones I would keep is this: pants, shoes, gloves, mm -hmm. shoulders, and bracers. That's it. And then two-handed weapons for you because you'll craft two-handed. But that's if you craft a two-handed weapon. I don't think you'll actually need to worry about doing that. Yeah, but if I can get a one-handed that outdoes this guy, why not? No, there's not gonna be one-handed that rolls a high DPS, but we'll get close. Anyways, as always, thank you guys for checking out the uh, Diablo Casual. I'm sorry, Diablo Three from a casual point of view, uh, where the show star is Nate Dog, and he'll be back next week. He went from what was before Master Hard. He went from normal to hard. Now he's up to Master level. His uh, Crusader's up to 429k damage. He got two pieces of legendaries. He got the Strong Arm Bracer last week. He found the uh, Angel Braid, really good stats, and he also found a Pox Fold. So hopefully by next week, you find a weapon and find some other good stuff, and then yeah. you can showcase the stream and stuff like that. So uh, he's probably going to chill around for a little bit, then I know he's probably going to head home and relax. Yeah. And uh, enjoy himself, and I know his missus is gonna come home. And when the missus come home, he better have that hot. He better have that sandwich and that warm <laughs> glass of milk ready. Like, hey, baby, here you go. Uh. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I mean that's pretty much got it, and that concludes the show. So this will probably be the cutoff point right now for the show. So future Leslie or whoever's doing it. No, Leslie technically in the past. Or Debo technically in the past, because I'm going to be going looking at this in a couple days and uploading this to YouTube. Debo from the past, you can cut the stream or cut the video or edit the video right. Well, edit it to stop right exactly now. Okay, cool. Okay, so, <laughs> so now in a couple days, when... No, well, I don't even know. Technically, I'm like from the future. Or I'm from the yeah. If I'm from the future, or I'm from the You're past. Talking to your future self. I'm talking to my future self, who's going to be uploading the video. So now, when I say you can cut the edit the video now, I'll I'll cut it then. Yes. Yes, and then I'll have a nice little breakup and stuff like that. Okay, now put baby metal on. I can't put on baby metal. They gotta look at baby metal. Copyright, nigga. Yeah, well, it's not going to be part of the thing. Oh, that's you true. Put baby metal on. They can go. Let them know. You know what? If we put baby metal in there, I'm just going to sit there and the music doesn't come out. Go look at baby metal. And I'll make, you know what? Tell you what, I'll ask you a question out of baby metal today. <laughs> and I'll be one of the giveaways. And I'll ask you a question involving baby metal about one of the videos. What